A B C is an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle. P is a point on the minor arc B C. Prove that P A equals to P B plus B C. A B C is an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle. P is a point on the minor arc B C. Prove that P A equals to P B plus B C. To solve this problem, we will use properties of circle properties of equilateral triangle and also congruency because we need to prove pa equals to pb plus pc the idea is to transfer pc length onto extension of bp and then use the properties of isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle and use the properties of circles and congruency to prove that pa equals to whatever the line we got here bp plus pc we make pc as pq then pa equals to bq but bq is bp plus pq but pq is coming from pc so to do that first we'll start with what information is given to us let's go ahead and write down we have abc and equilateral triangle so i know this angle is 60 degrees i also know this angle is 60 degrees Let us say that this 60 degrees is divided into two parts. One is x, and the another is 60 minus x. One is x, and the another is 60 minus x. Then, let's write down the first circle properties. We know angles in the same segment are equal, so we can say that. Angle BAP is equal to angle BCP. What is the meaning of that? The meaning of that is angle made by the arc BP at A is equals to angle made by the arc BP at C. Therefore, angle BAP equals to angle BCP. That means. therefore angle bcp is also equals to x degrees so this is x we got that as x and what else we can do we can also see that angle pac equals to 60 minus x that means angle pbc is also 60 minus x so we can write down angle pac is equal to angle PBC because we have angles in the same segment are equal. But what is the angle PAC? 60 minus x. Therefore, angle PBC is equal to 60 minus x. So this angle is equals to 60 minus x. Now, what we said earlier that we will extend BP. So let us do that extension part. We will extend it. in such a way that pq equals to pc pq equals to pc let's join c and q so that now if you observe carefully we can see that triangle pcq is an equilateral triangle why i will tell you first let's go to here we have 60 degrees here so what will be this angle 120 degrees if that is 120 what will be this angle 60 degrees an isosceles triangle with one angle 60 degrees is equilateral triangle so let's fill that data there so this is 120 degrees that means this is 60 degrees we have 60 degrees here and we have 60 degrees here so we have all the angles whatever we need and we also know that abc is an equilateral triangle that means we know ac is equal to bc equals to ab now let's identify the triangles which we want to use for congruency so let me just make those triangles into 
different colors. We will take first ACP triangle, ACP triangle. So, let me go ahead and put that in another color. This is our triangle ACP. If you look at ACP triangle, we have angle A 60 minus X and angle C is 60 plus X and in between we have AC. Now, let us go to another triangle that is BCQ triangle. I will write down here the triangles we are considering. ACP, we want to prove congruent to BCQ. We want to prove this congruency. Once we are able to prove this congruency by CPCT, we can say PA equals to BQ, but BQ is BP plus PQ, PQ is equals to PC. So, we are able to prove PA equals to PB plus PC. Now, let us put this triangle in another color for that. I will pick another color. Let us say we take green color for this. So, this is our triangle. That is the triangle we are talking about. Now, these are the two triangles we have. So, let us write down what we can see in these two triangles. In triangle ACP comma triangle BCQ, what we know? First, we know that AC equals to BC because they are sides of equilateral triangle. equilateral triangle. So, we have AC equals to BC. We also have angle CAP, angle CAP equals to angle CBQ and from the figure it is equals to 60 minus x degrees. Also, we have angle ACP is equal to angle BCQ, that angle is equal to 60 plus X in both the cases. So, therefore, triangle ACP is congruent to triangle BCQ by ASCA congruency criteria. So, therefore, by CPCT, we can say that by CPCT, we can say that P A equals to by CPCT, P A equals to Q B, but what is Q B? So, we can write down P A equals to Q B. P A equals to Q B, P A equals to Q B is nothing but P B plus P Q that is P B plus P Q which is equals to P C. Therefore, therefore P A equals to P B plus P C. Let us have a recap of this problem, interesting problem. ABC is an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle. P is a point on the minor arc BC. Prove that PA equals to PB plus PC. ABC is an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle. P is a point on minor arc BC. We have to prove PA equals to PB plus PC. Let us have a recap of this problem. We have been given ABC is a triangle. P is a point on minor arc BC. We have to prove PA equals to PB plus PC. So, what we did is basically we used the properties of circles and properties of equilateral triangle 60, 60, 60 here. The first thing what we did is we extended BP to PQ in such a way that PQ equals to PC. Then we have proven that triangle ACP and triangle BCQ are congruent to each other by ASCA congruency. 
by CPCT we got AP equals to BQ, BQ is PB plus PQ but PQ equals to PC therefore PA equals to PB plus PC.